What's up fellow bookworms and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan and in this video we are going to be looking at the best books available on Kindle Unlimited according to you guys. Recently I asked you what your favorite book and or series is on Kindle Unlimited and you guys definitely came through but to kind of add to that and supplement the great uh, books you guys suggested my wife also asked the same question over on her Instagram account and Got some pretty great answers as well over there. So I'm super excited to talk about these books with you guys. I am going to try to keep it as short as possible because I've got about 20 books on the list and you don't want to watch a three hour long video. So I'm going to give you a couple sentences about each book. And if it sounds interesting, of course, you can look it up on Goodreads or wherever. I also want to mention the Discord server as well. It used to be Patreon exclusive, but now it's open to anybody. Absolutely free. I would love to have you over there. Just click the link in the description and it'll take you right where you need to be. I look forward to catching up with you over there. But for now, let's talk about the 20-ish best books on Kindle Unlimited according to you. I've got two categories here. Most of the books are either going to be fantasy or thriller. So I've timestamped the video so you can just kind of find the one that you're interested in if you're not interested in both. But starting off with the fantasy books, number one is The Way of a Dan by Philip Chase. And I'm not going to lie, I snuck this one on the list, but I promise it's the only one I snuck on the list because it is absolutely worth your time and your attention. I recently read this book and it was fantastic. It's basically a kind of twist on the classic trope in fantasy where kind of the small town village boy goes on a quest and discovers that he's more important than he initially thought. But it's that story told in the context of kind of a religious war, kind of a holy war being waged in this fantastical kingdom. So it was a great read. I really, really enjoyed it. And it's available for, of course, free on Kindle Unlimited. Next up is another fantasy called Free the Darkness by Kel Cade. What we have in this one is a kind of young hero type who's raised in kind of isolation at this special academy, it sounds like. And when a battle destroys basically everything he knows, knows he's then sent to go find some answers so kind of a quest fantasy it sounds like it's rated extremely well and it sounds pretty good i also forgot to tell you the goodreads for way of a dan and free the darkness so way of a dan is rated 4.08 stars on goodreads and free the darkness is 4.24 stars on goodreads i promise i'm going to tell you the stars from now on number three on the list is ninth house by leah bardugo rated 4.04 stars on goodreads and i think this is one of the original kind of dark academia type fantasy books it's about a girl who is the survivor of a like multiple homicide side type murder deal and she wakes up in her hospital bed and she's propositioned with you can go to Yale for a free uh, full ride but there's a catch and I think the whole story is about the catch she's then got to kind of try to figure out the secret societies at Yale University next rated 4.47 stars on Goodreads is The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent this is kind of a romance centric fantasy and it sounds a lot like The Hunger Games basically Basically, our main character has to go into this gauntlet that is hosted by death itself and try to win. So, yeah, major Hunger Games vibes, the romance elements of Hunger Games, all that, and it's rated extremely well. Next up is Guild by Raven Kennedy. It's rated 3.63 stars on Goodreads, and it's also kind of a romance-centric fantasy about the wife or mistress of Midas, you know, the guy with the golden touch. And yeah, I think the wife is made out of gold, or the woman, or whoever she is, is, I think, made out of gold. And um, she's basically questioning her role, I guess, and wondering if she really is loved by Midas, or if it's all just kind of a trap. Um, and then also, the synopsis mentioned something about a battle as well so very interesting premise to say the least another big one is song of achilles by madeline miller it is rated 4.36 stars on goodreads you probably have heard of this book it's been super popular i was surprised to find that it's actually available through kindle unlimited but it is kind of a like retelling of um, I guess some Greek mythology. I, to be honest, don't really get the full scope of what's going on in the story. It's definitely romance and it's, I guess, historical type fantasy as well. Next up, we have a series called The House Witch, and the series is also the title of the first book in the series, and it is kind of a crossover between cozy mystery, fantasy, and maybe even some romance as well. 
But we follow a main character who is a witch, can do magic, but uh, they are just content to work as the cook in the king's court until their powers are discovered and that kind of thrusts them into some situations they really didn't want to be in. It sounds cute, it sounds cozy, and it sounds like a really fun kind of comfort read for sure. It's also rated 4.25 stars and written by someone called Delum Hatch, I believe is maybe how you say it. Next up is a series called The Girl in the Box, and book number one is called Alone, and it is rated 3.91 stars on Goodreads, and it's written by Robert J. Crane. This one's kind of a paranormal type urban fantasy. A girl is basically held prisoner in her house by her mother, but then one day her mother just disappears and instead she finds two strange men in her house. So naturally she kind of goes on the run, kind of discovering these powers that she has, all while being chased by this kind of secret shadowy society that's out to get her. And then the last one that I want to mention under the fantasy category is not really fantasy, but it's kind of fantasy adjacent sort of, and it's just such a great read I had to mention in this video. That is Swan Song by Robert McCammon. Admittedly, I have not yet read it, but everyone that I know that's read it has absolutely loved it. It's rated 4.29 stars on Goodreads. It is very much like The Stand by Stephen King. It gets compared to The Stand a lot. Robert McCammon as an author, McCannon as an author, gets compared to Stephen King a lot as well. But it is kind of a post-apocalyptic story looking at the world after the apocalypse. Hence, you know, post-apocalyptic. Um, it just, yeah, sounds like a fantastic read. Now, all right, moving on to the thrillers. We have number one, The Perfect Marriage, written by Geneva Rose. This book is rated 4.01 stars on Goodreads. It's probably one of the most popular books on Kindle Unlimited as of right now. It's about a woman who is a defense attorney and in some terrible twist of fate, ends up having to defend her husband be when he is accused of murdering his mistress. So yeah, the perfect marriage indeed. Secondly, I apologize for being so general, but I have to say it. Basically anything written by Frida McFadden. Uh, I think all her books are available on Kindle Unlimited. She wrote The Housemaid. Then she wrote, obviously, the sequel to The Housemaid that has also become super popular. But my wife has read several of her books love them. Everyone else I know that's read them has also loved them. So definitely worth checking out if you like thriller, especially I think domestic type thrillers. Next is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. This book is rated 3.98 stars on Goodreads and it sounds interesting. So it's about the perfect couple, you know, the super uh, successful, handsome lawyer and his perfect wife, right? They just live the perfect life together. Everything is great. But then as you take a closer look, you realize maybe things aren't so great at all. And you start to wonder, especially about the wife. Um, it's just some things maybe are a bit strange about her. Why can she never go out even though she is just a homemaker and doesn't have a work obligations? Why does she never answer the phone? Why is she so weird, I guess? I don't know. What's her deal? That's the premise of the book. <laughs> Next is Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier, and this one is rated 4.12 stars, and I'm just going to read the first line of the synopsis and leave it at that. This is the story of three best friends, one who was murdered, one who went to prison, and one who's been searching for the truth all these years. Pretty intriguing, to say the least. So probably part mystery, part thriller, full interesting. <laughs> Next is If You Tell by Greg Olson, not the football player, the author, and it is about three sisters, it's a true story, first of all, about three sisters who grew up in a terribly abusive home. Their mother was not good, to put it extremely mildly, but they managed to find strength in one another and escape the terrible web that their mother has woven them into, weaved them into, and it ultimately culminates in a murder. So very intense, and if you like true crime type stories, or stories based on real life, then definitely check this one out. It's also rated four stars. I don't think I said that, but four stars even on Goodreads. Next is the Tracy Crosswhite series. Book number one is called My Sister's Grave, and it is rated 4.08 stars, written by Robert Dugoni probably is how you say his last name. This one is about, uh, well, 
two sisters, one of which is murdered and the other is not satisfied with the conclusion of the investigation. She doesn't think the person that they've arrested and tried for her sister's murder is actually the person who did it. And so she becomes, as most people would, she becomes a DA and she makes her whole life's goal to solve murders, but specifically to solve the murder of her sister and get to the bottom of it and find the truth. And what she finds is, of course, shocking. Next is Off the Deep End by Lucienda Berry, rated 3.51 stars. Okay, so not rated the best, but still pretty good. And the premise sounds very interesting. So this one is about a mom and her son and then another boy who are in a car when that car then drives off the road into a frozen lake. They crash beneath the ice and the mom character only has time to save one other person. And she, I guess, mistakenly chooses the boy who is not her son. She chooses, I guess, the son's friend. And of course, is just having a terrible time knowing that she didn't choose her own son. She could only choose one person and she she failed her son. But then, interestingly, the boy, Isaac, that she does save ends up missing. (laughs) And so, of course, she's like suspect number one. And now she has to prove that she didn't take this kid. She doesn't know where he's at. Next is a book called What Lies Between Us, written by John Mars. This one is rated 4.13 stars on Goodreads. And the premise sounds interesting. The synopsis is pretty short, so there's not a ton there. And it's probably hard to convey the message to you. But basically, we have a house and we have two women who live in this house, Nina and Maggie. And the synopsis says every other night, Nina and Maggie have dinner together. But then after dinner, Nina helps Maggie back into her room in the attic where she then chains her in. She's locked in the attic. And the reason for that is because uh, Maggie has done something unforgivable and Nina just can't forgive her. I get well, hence unforgivable. And I guess this is her punishment, but the synopsis hints at some other things in the past that are going to be revealed that are going to change things. And the synopsis ends by saying, in this house, the truth is more dangerous than lies. One of the reviewers on Goodreads also said that the rights to this book have been purchased by a production company, so it may be turned into a movie if it hasn't already been yet. And then finally, we have a book called Keep It in the Family, also by John Mars, rated 4.10 stars on Goodreads, and it's also about an addict, so I don't know what this dude's deal is with addicts, but we have a young couple, Mia and Finn. Mia gets pregnant, and they're fixing up their dream house when they make a weird discovery in the attic. They find an interesting message, I guess, like... uh, etched into one of the beams or something in the attic, and then they just make a terrible, horrific discovery after that. Uh, Mia has her baby, and then she just can't help but think about what she found in the attic, and somehow there's kind of a connection. I assume what they found was related to children somehow. And this revelation, and I guess other stress as well, stress of being a new mom and all that, kind of separates her from uh, her husband, from Finn. There's some domestic drama as well as paranormal sounding stuff maybe i don't know for sure don't quote me on that but pretty interesting premise and if you like addicts john mars is probably your guy but that is it those are the 20 ish books that you guys recommended on kindle unlimited let me know if you've read any of these or if you plan to read any of these and also let me know your favorite book and or series that's currently available to read on kindle unlimited i am a sucker for a good book recommendation so please let me know in the comments below as always though Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.